All right, guys, we're at Palmetto Peddler's uh, Antique Shop in Florence, South Carolina. And uh, we're looking for some comic books, some Funko Pops, and let's dig right in. All right, guys, if you see any keys I missed, please comment down below. I, I do collect the little DC stuff. I've been trying to do that here lately, but um, I'm sure I miss a lot of stuff. So comment down below, and next time I'm, I'm here, I'm going to try to pick these some of these books up that you mentioned. If you do, a lot of these first these first row of uh, comic books are $10 a piece. So keep that in mind before you, uh, you comment, or just tell me if that's a good deal or not. It might be, but uh, just let me know, and uh, let's go ahead and start digging in, and hopefully we find something cool.
Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics. We just got back from an antique shop, and uh, let's go over some stuff I already picked up. Before we get into the comic books, I actually picked up this uh, Spider-Man. It's like a little hard case, uh, metal tin case, I guess. Dollar fifty, and uh, I think there's supposed to be five of these, and there's only four in the pack. We got uh, these are all sealed. Hobgoblin. We got Scorpion. Really cool stuff. Kingpin. And then we got Rhino. I'm actually going to give some of this stuff away in a my next live. All right. Then I actually found this. My wife actually got me this. The Thanos Cup. Or the Gauntlet. With all the Affinity Stones. Really cool. Really cool. And uh, comment down below. If you can get an Affinity Stone, what would you get? Comment down below. Mine would actually be a uh, the green uh, time stone that uh, Doctor Strange gets, just in case uh, you know I need to go back in time. And it's... So mine would definitely be the uh, time stone. You got soul stone, power stone, uh, reality stone, a lot of different stones. Really cool. And uh, let's go ahead and get into these comic books. Um, first book we got is Superman number four sixty four. I try to go ahead and pick some DC books up. A lot of people's like, oh, you missed this, you missed that. Sometimes, a lot of times I don't go back and uh, get the books, but I actually picked this one up because one, my wife loves uh, Lobo. If you don't know, she does. And this is the first time Superman and Lobo, I guess, meet or battle. My buddy Comic Drill told me about this book and I went in and picked it up. They had it for $10 and I got 50% off when you spend so much money. That uh, antique shop's really cool. Especially in the same little booth. I usually wouldn't pay up for this. This is probably, I would, most I would pay, usually pay on a book like this. It's like three bucks, but $5 ain't too bad. And it's a high grade book, so I went ahead and picked it up. Then this one actually didn't have a bag of board or nothing. And uh, I had it, they had it for a dollar. And I got this a 50, 50 cent because I got 50% off. We got Captain Marvel number three. This is a very beat up copy. But for 50 cent, there's actually a hole right here, too. But for 50 cents, I went ahead and just picked it up. I mean, why not? Comics. Then, y'all should know this book. They had it for two bucks, and I got it for a dollar. Awesome little key book. And then we got one more book. This is actually the first appearance of Weapon H. It's where Wolverine and the Hulk kind of uh, get merged together. Talking about a beast. Awesome little cover. So I went ahead and picked that up too. All right, guys. Well, it's kind of a little short video. I didn't have too much to, uh, to get. There was a lot of toys and stuff there. But I showed you the main stuff I picked up. As far as comic books, um, a lot of the same stuff. A lot of second prints. And uh, some of the stuff was antique shops. It could be a hit, hit or miss because there's different vendors there. Sometimes you can get really good deals. Sometimes the prices are absolutely crazy. It just depends on uh, what vendor, what booth you go through. And uh, just take your time and kind of just dig through some stuff. I do like hitting antique shops uh, and uh, yard sale. Hit, hit a yard sale up and just swing by. Ask them, do you got comic books? Do you have Funko Pops or whatever you like? Do you like vintage toys? you like uh, whatever you uh, try to pick up? Do you have baseball cards, basketball cards? I actually picked up, uh, I don't even know where it's, oh yeah, let me give you one second. I thought this was really good. But, I mean, I pick up vintage stuff all the time. This is a sealed. It's unpunched. This is the first time Shaquille O'Neal uh, goes to the Lakers. It's not worth that much money, but I paid a dollar for it. It's already sealed and sealed again. But just random stuff like that. We go, me and my wife, we love uh, hitting that kind of yard sale, uh, consignment shop, antique shop kind of vibe. We always do that and try to, uh, we kind of hustle a little bit. That way, if we, uh, we make a little bit of money on the side, we can buy some comic books or some Pyrex. My wife, my wife likes Pyrex. We buy some stuff like that. Uh, we flip stuff and then buy stuff that we really want, like uh, this book here or this uh, Punisher. Or, you know, I, eventually my, my goal book is to get um, Journey and Mr. 83. But my next book I'm going to get before that is Daredevil number one. I've been looking for that book for a while. And uh, so remember this moment because I'm probably going to ask you what book am I looking for next? Besides uh, Thor, I'm asking this in the live, so make sure you pay attention. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, if you would, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.